Friday. It is February the 7th, 2020, and I'm Eric talking at you once again from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where I'm in a really good place right now. I don't mean like spiritually, I just mean I'm at home in front of a microphone with a beer. That is one of those intros that Gord would have really enjoyed. Welcome to What If We're Right, everybody. I am here tonight by myself with no Gord. Uh, So it's going to be a short episode. Um, It's going to be a not funny episode. I'm just going to bitch about some shit. And and we're going to miss Gord a lot. But we're not totally going to miss Gord because I I brought some with me. (laughs) That's amazing. I know, right? (laughs) I got to do my usual shout out to Mike and the boys at uh, Pit Lane Parlay. Uh, That is the number one racing and IndyCar podcast on the internet today. And they're on Apple Podcast if you want to give them a listen. If you guys are into racing, it's actually a really good show. And uh, they'd really appreciate it if you left them a star five star rating on Apple Podcasts. Um, As we all would, if you want to do that for me and Gord... uh, you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, finally, for now. I don't know how long that's going to last, but for the time being, we're there. And uh, we would really like a rating or a review, good or bad. Um, feel free to go there and rate or review our show. Um, if you don't want to listen to our show, I recommend Thor's Kin. That's a Podbean podcast, a really funny one with my friends Tom and Alex. Um, they podcast together from the U.S. of A. and the wonderful United Kingdom, and it's a really, really funny show. I had a blast hanging out with them, and we are trying very hard to get Gordon and I on together with the two of them. It would be a really, really funny episode. Um, Tonight, right now, because I'm by myself without Gord, which really, really sucks... Uh, we are live though, so you can call me and, and help me out with this show, 604-655-9630, or you can live chat with me on Spreaker.com, the chat is open right now, and then uh, we don't have to um, try to pretend that this is any fun without Gord. Uh, I, I can't tell you why Gord's not here, um, just because. No, I'm not talking about it because we're going to get in trouble. And that's right. Um, I do have a clip I want to show you guys a little bit later. That is one of my favorite clips of Gord that I don't think made it to the air. So that'll be fun in a minute. Um, also want to mention, uh, starting on March the 1st is a fantastic show produced by Oracle Media Productions. And it's called The Stories Behind the Songs. And it's where three different hosts uh, walk you through the stories behind some of their favorite songs. Some of the bands being featured are The Cars, uh, Styx, Rush, The Beatles, um, Elvis Costello, Silverchair, Bjork. I get to do a Pearl Jam episode, which if any of you know me, you know that's going to be a lot of fun. And I decided not to pick like five songs that everybody knows. I went with some, uh, some of their lesser known songs unless you're a Pearl Jam fan in which case you know them all um I would like to know what you guys think of the new song Dance of the Clairvoyance I I made a special time all to myself I had it uh on my phone but I waited till I was like alone out in the woods 
so I could really enjoy it, and I listened to it, and it didn't blow me away. As a matter of fact, it sort of pissed me off. Still looking forward to the album. There's still uh, no band I like more at the moment, but that song, I wasn't blown away. I just, I don't know. I, I like that they do everything different from previously. Like, every album is totally different from the one before it. That's pretty cool. But um, that song, I just, I don't know. It didn't do it for me. Uh, so tell me what you think of that. You can uh, send me an email tonight. Um, we're not doing anything funny because I'm by myself. So you just send your emails to eric at ericandgord.world. That is the new website that I've put out for us again. I know sooner or later I'm going to quit putting out new websites. But uh, I, until we find one that sticks and works, um, that's just what I do. So uh, ericandgord.world. That's a cool little website. I put some uh, fun stuff on there. There's not a bunch of like self-indulgent Eric crap there. It's just just uh, Eric and Gord, plain and simple. The really cool thing is, though, there's a feature there where you can go and leave a uh, up to five-minute voice message for Eric or Gord or either of us if you want to fucking tell us to go pound salt or you want to tell us how great we are. Or you want to just talk about something that we didn't talk about on the show. Or whatever you want. Leave a five minute, up to five minute voice message at ericandgord.world. There's a little button off to the side. You just click that and go ahead and start talking. And just please be sure to specify if you don't want it played on the show. Because if you don't tell me not to, I promise you, I will. Um... So, where was I? Stories behind the songs. Listen to that starting March 1st. It's going to be a fun show. Uh, It's been a lot of fun to make. I'm looking forward to it coming out. Um, What else? I don't know. I don't know. I am lost without Gord. (laughs) That's amazing. I know. Uh, All the best, Gord. I hope you're doing okay. I hope we uh, get to hear from you again over the weekend. Uh, as I said, I'm going to play a Gord clip in a little while. I just a couple of things I wanted to talk about that um, I thought he would get a kick out of. Um, the first thing that I noticed in the news today that was just fucking amazing to me. Uh, Twiggy, this is the headline that caught my eye. And this is just a, so uh, encapsulates the town that I live in. And if I got any Vancouver listeners uh, that want to chat with me or or call in please call in and give me your opinion on this just goddamn train wreck of a city we live in uh here's the headline twiggy the water skiing squirrel is under investigation for violating vancouver bylaws oh god damn it i wish i was making that up twiggy the water skiing squirrel is under investigation for violating bylaws um i guess my name is Jeff. There is a boat show in town. The Vancouver International Boat Show happens every year. It's a, I've been to it only one time, and it was cool. Like it, There's some showboats there that are just fucking out of this world. They're just like amazing. These, these giant like million-dollar yachts. They're bigger than apartment buildings. It's really it's a show of just absolute like affluence and just... People who have way too fucking much money um, go to look at these things. I don't know if anybody buys boats there. They just go to fucking talk about it. Um, people who people who wish they had enough money to afford them go to look at them. And people who have enough money to afford those kind of boats probably aren't fucking spending their weekend at boat shows. They're out doing cool rich guy shit. But I guess uh, they've got this, this boat show tours around with this... Uh, trained squirrel that water skis and it's like to teach kids um safety uh, um what do you call it uh, uh life jacket safety what's that jacket you put on that saves your life no oh, yeah it's a life jacket um they don't just call it that it's that's what it does um so this fucking <laughs> water skiing squirrel I, he, he waters, he's a squirrel that water skis and he wears a life jacket and he teaches kids to wear a life jacket 
and that's probably a good thing because uh, kids just they're let's be honest they're not getting any smarter every year um most of them will probably drown in a bathtub if you take your eyes off them so it's a good idea just put a life jacket on your kids at all times just so, we get to, so that when they're walking to school you know if they're riding a bike if they're alone in the bathtub if they're using a urinal um, anytime like you might have to take your eyes off your kids just put a life jacket on them but this fucking vancouver has a section in their like bylaws uh section uh schedule a section 13 of the business prohibition bylaw clearly states that rodents are prohibited from participating in competitions exhibitions or performance events um yeah rodents so if no uh rodent races no rat races in vancouver no no squirrel fighting there's there's never going to be like the ufc of squirrels the F, the sfc um that's not happening because it's not allowed in vancouver so don't go to stanley park and bet on a squirrel to win in a fight because they're not allowed to partake it is against the law in vancouver <coughs> um pub fights probably didn't make the law books that's not a thing uh you don't have to worry about like you can pay two bums to beat each other to death for fucking 50 bucks but not squirrels we gotta protect the fucking squirrels lord knows there's not enough of them how <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about this fucking thing how far can we go with goddamn bylaws that's the problem with municipal governments and it's one of the reasons i ran for mayor in 2018 and and why i plan on doing it again next year in 2021 because i want to just point out the absolute absurdity of the shit that goes on uh in in municipal law more than anything because what happens in municipal law uh whatever the length of the term is the next government gets in in vancouver it's three years uh some places four some places i'm sure it's probably two but either way the the new municipal government gets in and they spend their first year just fucking throwing out shit the old municipal government did and writing in their new stuff um, but they do it in little bits and pieces. So over the years, these things accumulate and you get these fucking ridiculous, uh, just half-assed laws. Um, it's how, you, like Vancouver, you end up with viaducts sitting there for 40 fucking years that do go nowhere and do nothing. They're just a big giant eyesore and and they're useless. And then governments for years and years have to fucking debate over what they're going to do with them. Or you get someone who's just got some boneheaded fucking idea about something and they put something in the books and it gets um, forgotten over time. And this is so this is one of those fucking ideas. Some bonehead fucking probably PETA supporter uh, doesn't want rodents to <laughs> participate in competitions, exhibitions or performance events. That is just fucking ridiculous. Um, whoever put that in the books, uh, just thank you for giving me a story. And I'm going to be thinking about this for a long, long time. Cause that's amazing. And I feel bad if you're a rodent owner and you planned on maybe getting them in the movies or, you know, taking them out on tour, showing what your rat or squirrel or mouse or fucking rabbit can do or ferret. Maybe or is a ferret a rodent? No, they fucking should be. They stink. Um, but your rodent's not competing in Vancouver. Sorry. Uh, you're going to have to call. I don't know who you even call about that. There's got to be some ro- ro- rodent lawyer you could call. Uh, some rodent rodent civil rights lawyer that's going to fight against this and make sure your rodent can get into fucking rodent. Do we not have something more that our, our lawmakers could be paying attention to? Uh there's about 150,000 things I can think of right now that are more important than whether or not our fucking squirrels are water skiing without a permit. What do you think the fine is for that? Woo! That was cool. Um, <laughs> thanks, Gord. Um water skiing rodent that is just incredible um what else do i have in the news that i wanted to talk about um oh yeah 